guys. It's Greg from Explore Scientific. I'm uh, at Woodland Hills this morning. We're doing a little training on the Explore Scientific G11 Lost Mandy Mal. Uh, this is a modification that Explore Scientific has done with the cooperation of, of Scott uh, Lost Mandy at Lost Mandy uh, Engineering. Uh, this is the G11, and uh, what we've done with it is made a few changes in the, in the motor configuration, in the worm block configuration and in the electronics. We'll go through that as we step through the training. Uh, basically what uh, we have done is taken a really stable platform, a very popular mount on the market that has been around for 20 plus years and taken a couple of uh, changes, made a couple of changes in the way the motors attach to the mount, the types of motors we use, and the entire electronic and software package. We have developed a product called the PMC-8. It's in a box we'll show you in a few minutes that has eight microprocessors that are very redundant, very reliable, uh, actually sealed <clears throat> in a, a water resistant coating so that if you get caught in uh, you know, a light shower or overnight dew, the electronics are safe. Uh, we've also taken the motors and uh, uh, the Lost Mandy comes out of the box with servo motors. We uh, install stepper motors. These are uh, a little more accurate than the stepper motors. I'm sorry, than the servo motors. And they also are much more safe. If you're doing a remote operation of this mount and uh, it were to, uh, the, the telescope were to crash against the legs or into the side of your dome or whatever, these motors will only disengage. They will not cause the gears to tear apart. They will not cause uh, any electronic failure. They'll just make some extremely loud noises and everything will be safe. When you power off and power back on, they're absolutely fine and usable at that point. So that's a change in the, in the motor system. We've also changed the way they couple to the worm block. And I'll show you some examples of that as we go into the training a little bit later as well. The software is developed by us. It's called Explore Stars. Uh, it is a Windows-based system. It is usable with a Windows tablet, a Windows phone, and a Windows PC right out of the box. Now you're going to ask, is that the only operating system? And the answer is no, it's not the only operating system. It is usable with the first and only wireless ASCOM driver. Uh, in our electronic system and any ASCOM compliant software, whether it be Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever, any ASCOM compliant software will function with our electronics. So you don't have to use our system, but an advantage we give you with our system is it is open source. And being open source, we give you the code. We give you an opportunity to download a SDK uh, software developers kit and that software developers kit can at that point be modified from every aspect of the software. So if you're a developer and you like tinkering with code, this is the piece of software that you uh, can get access to. All that code, write your own programs any way you want. This is the worm block and the motor assembly. It's connected with what we call a screw coupler. Uh, there's a real official name for that, but uh, uh, basically what it does is directly connects the worm to the motor and uh, we include this on both axes uh, the RA and the deck and uh, you see how that assembly looks in front of you there this is the PMC8 electronics box this is included with the purchase uh, it is a an 8 processor um, uh, electronic system it connects with regular serial cables to each motor uh, it has Wi-Fi on board it's firmware also it has the first wireless um, ASCOM driver uh, available on the marketplace today and that, that is all built into this electronic box.